In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how you might use uh, particle systems in conjunction with dynamic paint to maybe paint a design on a building or uh, create uh, maybe an old city scene with your buildings before the rest of your scene starts. So essentially pre-modeling your building in advance using dynamic paint. So uh, let's see what I have in here. This is not actually applicable to this particular lesson, so I'll just move it over to another layer. So what I have in here is just this uh, kind of building representation right here. And I have a little object that just has a pointer thing on it. And at the end of the object, just because you can, well, let me see if you can just barely see it right there. That's actually a separate object that I extracted from the tip of this. And um, well, if you, so let's just let's just start from scratch. And so this is pretty much what we're doing. We'll leave this in the scene. We'll get rid of the, this, this object, and we'll get rid of that little object right there as well. And that leaves just this in the scene and this. Uh, circle and we'll uh, yeah sure we'll get rid of that too so you see it right from the beginning all right so with this in the scene shift a i'll add a curve circle like this all right and i'll scale it up s scale it up like here uh let me see let's move it over to this location like this and i'll scale it up just a little bit more okay and so uh I'll look at it from above seven and I'll place it well actually let's do this let's move it over here and let's move this into the light a little bit more like this alright so he's moderately centered in the scene okay so then yeah I can see it okay and so now what I want to do is I have this circle here and I'm going to move him down towards the surface and I'm going to place uh, I'll add a uh, plane to the scene, shift A, mesh plane. I'll use this as our particle system. I'll rotate it on X, this scale it down like that. And I'll kind of position it. Let me look at it from above. I'll kind of position it so it's facing the building like this. All right. And then I'm going to put it right down next to the circle. I'm looking close and then I'm going to use this circle as a means of um, tracking this like this so I'm going to shift that as well press control P and I'm going to press follow path all right and normally you don't get that coming up in the menu but because we're using a circle at the same time that's why that comes up in the menu so I'll follow the path and by virtue of doing that if I go into the curve button up here, I look down here, it says it'll follow, this is over 100 frames, I'm going to follow it over, say, 300 frames. So it basically runs 300 frames around the circle. Let's see. Let me alt, press Alt-A. And now it's following the circle and facing it. And so now what I want to do is, maybe this is, uh, maybe you're a graphic designer and you're going to paint a giant mural in this building. So what we'll do is we use dynamic paint to do it, but to do it we'll add a particle system to this object. So add the particle system, we'll give it a bunch of particles. And we will crank up the normals because it's going to emit from the face like this. Maybe I'll cut the size down of the whole thing a little bit like that. And then Okay, that should be good enough for there. And then we also have to make this our paintbrush. So we need to go into dynamic paint. So with the physics button, go into dynamic paint, make that our brush, click add brush, and we'll just use the default values. No, we won't. It says mesh volume. We'll click particle system, and we will pick the particle system. Okay, now this, we'll click the building on a canvas. Okay, there's a canvas. And then I want to paint on it. So the paint option is already set. So let's see what happens when I just run it. So it should be running around the circle and let's see if we have a light on there to see what's happening. I think I light. I think I need a light. I'll just add a light here. Shift A, I'll add a point light. Okay, so there it is. It's painting on the building. It's just going around the circle. Better get another one. Shift E, better move that light over here too.
Okay, so you see it's painting, and it's going to be painting all. It should be painting all the way around the other side, unless our particle system ran out of particles. Did I set a lifetime on the particles? Let's see, lifetime no. So the particles got to be up that high. Now the other thing we want to do is we're going to set a uh, keyframe. So for this, I'll set I. Whoops, I location, and then maybe up here at 250, I'll just move this up here like this and set that as an eye as in a location and then we want to run it you should paint it around the circle and simultaneously mm -hmm, it should raise up so it should essentially paint a uh, helix and the one thing since you didn't see this in advance this building here when we go into edit mode it is heavily subdivided. If you do not subdivide it, you're not going to get that effect. All right. So the more subdivisions you have, the better off it's going to be. Let's subdivide it again. Why not? Okay. Let's see if the computer can handle it. All right. And we'll start back at the beginning and press Alt A and let's see what happens. So now it should raise up, and so it essentially is painting a helix on the building as it goes. So maybe. It's not really moving fast enough around the circle for me. So I'll come back over here, back to the curve area. Oops, not to the curve, but to the, where is the, no, this, I need to go to the curve. Where did that guy go? <laughs> oh, no. It's on the curve. There it is. I'll do it over, say, 150 frames. See what happens there. All right, so it's moving a lot faster. And so it's painting the design as you go. It's very cool. And so, um, and then the other thing you could do instead of doing that, maybe you want to create a damaged building scene, or maybe you just want to create damage on it, but maybe I just want to create an old looking city. And so I'll click this and it'll go back to the dynamic paint. And instead I'll use the uh, displacement brush like this and so maybe you will use the dynamic paint to kind of model the building and then maybe you start the rest of your animation past this location all right so I can scroll like this and let me see let's press alt a and let's see what's happening to the building and so it's essentially blasting the building and creating an old looking building scene for me I'll stop it right there before the particles in and you can see it's kind of like a damaged looking building I mean that'd be kind of hard to model by grabbing vertices and stuff like that all right and then you could start your regular animation from this point forward with whatever else was going on the scene and so you've essentially modeled your building in the scene all right well hope that gives you some ideas about how to use the particle systems and things of that nature and uh, I'll see you in the next lesson